Hello, YouTube. I don't know who I'm talking to yet because I haven't pulled a Zodiac card out from my Oracle deck yet. I'm kind of going with the flow for this uh, round of Oracle and Tarot readings. I'm going with the flow. Um, I'm kind of doing these videos on a whim. Usually I do them weekdays, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but um, I have a lot of things that I have to do next week, so <clears throat> I'm like, I'm just going to do it tonight. It's Friday, but you probably won't see this video on, until Monday or Tuesday. I don't know yet. <clears throat> so let's see. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm shuffling the Zodiac Oracle and picking signs as I go. Um, and I kind of wanted to film the videos like this just so I can kind of get into a rhythm and get into a vibe and get into a flow with the universe as I do your reading and just kind of talk to you guys casually and just chit chat and um, just kind of vibe with the energy. So things are definitely getting a little bit easier, I think. Like the, there's still a lot of heavy energy uh, with it being Scorpio season in general. It's a lot of heaviness, but I know for me personally, um, the energy is getting a little bit less heavy. It was really heavy in the beginning of Scorpio season, end of October. And the first week of November, it was crazy intense, like insane. And things are now starting to, you know, I feel like I can like take deep breaths and you know, things are kind of like less intense. Okay. Like if you live in the United States, you know, we had a, you know, the election, that was a big breakthrough. Okay. Like there is more drama. There's more drama, but there was so much pressure and tension building up to the election. So like once it just finally ended and it was over, there was a sense of release. There was definitely a sense of release. Uh, now that doesn't mean that things aren't going to be crazy. Like 2021 is going to be crazy astrologically, but at least like now that that initial release is over, everyone can just kind of like get back into their lane. You know what I mean? And that is my, that has actually been my uh, advice for every single video that I've done so far is like just stay in your lane just stay in your lane all right who am I talking to who am I talking to I'm talking to Sagittarius Sagittarius hello my fellow Saggies my fellow fellow Saggies stay in your lane Let's see what we got going on for you. Mid-November 2020 till the end of the month. Right before we kick off Sagittarius season. We about to wrap this year up. You know, there's a lot of people who are really, I think, looking forward to this year ending. To be completely honest with you, I feel like Sagittarius season is probably going to be like the best month out of the whole year. But I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and be like, oh yeah, everything is going to be oh so wonderful. Because if we're going to talk about astrology, there's a lot of things happening. I just know that because I watch other YouTube videos. An I wish I was an astrologist. I want to do astrology. I want to read 
birth charts. I can break my own birth chart down easily. I actually know um, a pretty good amount. I, I do know how to break down birth charts, but as far as like understanding the transits uh, that are currently going on in the solar system, I have no idea. I mean, I have no idea like how to break it down in terms of like, okay, this planet is in conjunction with this planet and like da 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 da, -da like things like that. All right, but I can definitely do I can do birth chart I can do a birth chart analysis I can do a birth chart analysis I actually wanted to do a video on my own birth chart on this channel and talk a little bit about uh, you know just some of the energies that are in my chart and how I cope with those energies because it can be a lot to handle sometimes. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what we've got going on for you. I do kind of feel like once um, the end of the month hits and we are in Sagittarius season, if there's, it's going to be like another. There's going to be another. Re kind of release, you know. It's the best way to explain it. I have beauty. It's gonna be. It's gonna feel like a different kind of release. It's like all year we waited for election season, and that happened in Scorpio season. And then Sagittarius season is gonna be like, okay, the year is like wrapping up, kind of. You know, we have wisdom. We have guardian angel. These are really interesting cards. I just have to say right off the bat. Huh. Well, for the wisdom card, right away, I was like, okay, like you have a lot of things that you have a lot of things to teach. You know, there's a lot of information and knowledge that you have that you can give to others. This beauty and this guardian angel card, however, I want to clarify these just to see. But I feel like there's somebody watching over you. Maybe someone, um, maybe like a deceased family member. All right. Maybe a deceased family member. I am feeling this guardian angel as someone who has passed in your family, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you've met them. Okay, because like, like you can have spirits and angels watching over you that kind of like belong to your uh, soul tribe, but they're not related to you. Okay, they're just kind of like they've been assigned to you they've been assigned to watch over you by like a star uh, collective but this in particular I'm feeling is uh, an ancestor so it could be a very 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 distant ancestor or it could be somebody recent but I am definitely feeling like it is someone <sighs> Um, definitely trying to communicate with you, All right? There's definitely an ancestor trying to communicate with you, all right? And they're also trying to help you with this wisdom, trying to like, let's see, the beauty. Maybe they're trying to help you see your own beauty. They could be trying to help you see how beautiful you are and what you're capable of and how much you can teach others and how much you are capable of showing others and teaching others uh, your gifts, the gifts that you have. 
but we are going to clarify. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely the guardian angel. I'm really, really picking up on <laughs> like, like a very strong ancestral vibe. Very, very strong. Very, very strong. They're like, they're right there. They're literally right there. Just like hovering. They need you to see something. Okay. Let's see. For wisdom, we have the moon. We have six of wands. This is Jupiter and Leo. We have three of pentacles. This is uh, Mars and Capricorn. We have the four of cups, moon and cancer. Hanged man. Neptune, the Tower, Mars, and then we have Judgment, Pluto, we have Seven of Swords, Moon and Aquarius, and we have the King of Wands, Leo. <sighs> oh, Sagittarius. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there is some, there is some dark energy that you're trying to break through. You're trying to get, you're trying to get through some some energies, some shadow energies inside of you. So you can kind of step into this leadership position over here. This leadership, like this uh, position of victory. And this is a position that will allow you to be a collaborator. That will allow you to step into a role where you can work with others and collaborate with others. And kind of like, mm, not like, not necessarily lead the collaboration, but to be a leader um, with taking initiative, taking initiative to get started, okay, to kind of like inspire. So it's kind of like, wanting you to step into a role where you can inspire other people to start collaborating with you. <sighs> oh, goodness. Yeah, but there, there's, there's some big changes taking place. There's some big changes taking place inside you right now. You're definitely, you're definitely going to go through some, you're going to go through some, um, you're going to go through a lot of content. You're going to go through some contemplation and there's going to be some changes. There's going to be some big changes happening inside you. Oh, Sagittarius, what is happening here? This is crazy. These cards are like really all over the place. I'm not going to lie. Like these cards are not smooth. You know what I mean? They're, mm, they're kind of like jumpy. They're kind of jumping around. And I feel like, I feel like your guardian angels are trying to keep you on track. Like, I feel like these oracle cards over here, like, this is you staying in your lane. And yet, there's, like, all these distractions. 
I'm really starting to feel like these tarot cards right here are like your distraction. And this right here is you staying in your lane. Go with the flow of the universe. But like, you want to do it all. You're tr you want to do it all. <sighs> you're trying to do this, you're trying to do this, you're trying to do that. You got a lot going on over here, Sad G. This is, and this is, you know, this is why you're going to have this tower moment over here. I feel like you're thinking a lot about this stuff. It's not even like... I see this, I see this as things that are going on in your head. I don't, okay, so the way that these cards are coming out and the way that this reading is showing up is like, it's very mental, okay? It's very psychological, it's very mental. I don't like, these things aren't necessarily unfolding in real time because I, these oracle cards are very much like about you being in your in your flow in your rhythm in your you're in your lane and then like this is kind of coming out of that energy as like things that are going on in your head this is all coming out as things that are kind of like all the different things that you're thinking about All the different things that you're thinking about, okay? You have this that you want to do. Some kind of project. Okay. Um, a collaboration that you want to take on with someone. But you also... But you also feel like... There's some... I don't know, you also feel like you want to take time to yourself to go through a kind of like spiritual awakening, to go through a kind of like a spiritual transformation, you know, so you can come out the other side. It's almost like your creative process, you know, like I kind of see this with this tower and this hangman and this four of cups right by the beauty card. I see this as kind of like your creative process, you know, and you, Maybe sometimes you kind of willingly put yourself through it just so you can get through it and then get through to the other side and then go go back to doing what you're doing. Because I know like Sagittarians, like they have very little patience. And with you guys being a mutable fire sign, it's like you want to just like be constantly on the move and not stop and just keep doing things. So if you're a very creative individual, your creative process might be that way too. Your creative process could be like, like you wanting to just get yourself through these moments of transformation, through these, um, through this process of just kind of like living out your deaths and rebirths, and going through the necessary changes within you, so you can just come out the other side and be like, okay, now I can get back to work, and I'm a little bit more enlightened now. But it's kind of like th there's this feeling of like just wanting to get through it. And like your ancestors over here are trying to keep you calm. You know, they're just trying to keep you like, they're just trying to keep you in the flow. They're trying to keep you in your lane. They're trying to keep you like in the rhythm that water energy not that creative super intense like high impact fire Sagittarius energy they're trying to keep you in a more like you know where the river flows they're trying to keep you in that kind of energy because your head tends to be like and your 
creative energy tends to be a little all over the place. Okay, so they wrote, they want to they want to show you how to harness. They're trying to show you how to harness like control over your own river. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I'm out of focus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it into focus again. Come on. <sighs> well, that's just lovely. Maybe, okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> I did definitely get through uh, the general spiel of this story though. Okay. So, okay. So it looks like you're being guided. You're being guided to just remain calm. They want you, they want you to remain calm. Okay. They want you to remain calm. I keep looking at my computer to see if it's going to go out of focus. They want you to remain calm. They want you to stay in your lane. They want you to flow with the river. And just not get overly obsessed with... Um, with all the things that you have to do and instead just don't don't think about them up here just get into the rhythm and just kind of do them do the things how they feel right like do what feels right as you move along and as the days go by i'm out of focus again but that is my message for you, Sagittarius, okay? Um, and you're, you're coming out king... Yeah, I know, you can't see. You're coming out king of wands, which is still fire, passion, energy. This is Leo energy. So you still have that fire, creative, spiritual energy in you. You're just controlling it. You're keeping it in your lane. You're keeping it in the rhythm, in the flow, okay, of what is healthy and good for you, what's good for your soul right now, and you're going to be fine. So that's my rating for you, okay? I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.